It didn't matter where I'd been I'm not the same man I was then I got off track, I made mistakes Backslid my way into that place Where souls get lost, lines get crossed And the pain won't go Thank you for watching. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different type of video. I saw the tag going around YouTube, which is the what's in my bag video. And I know a lot of people have done this and it's been done millions of times, but I have not done anything like this. So I figured why not show you guys what's inside of my purse. Really quickly before I start, I just wanted to share with you my earrings are from Ludora Boutique. They are handmade in Brazil and I have 10% off their website, so I will post a link below and this adorable shirt is from Sabo Skirt which you guys probably already know I'm obsessed with Sabo Skirt so I'll also link that below so the purse at the moment that I've been using a lot is this black fringe one and I'm obsessed with fringes if you didn't know that already and this I actually got from ASOS I will put the link below and let's see what's inside my bag. So when it comes to being neat and organized, I really do try my best to stay neat and organized, but my purse and my car are always the first to get like super messy and it just holds all kinds of receipts and not garbage, but just like gum wrappers and all kinds of stuff. So let's see what we have in here. So the first thing in my bag, Starbucks. Just kidding, this really wasn't in my bag, but I just got a Starbucks and what I drink is non-fat chais with light ice and I literally drink it almost every single day. So let's see. I swear no matter what I do or what bag I have, it's always like 80 pounds and it's always ugh, so hard to lift, but let's see. Starting in the pockets, I have my cell phone. I always there's always like a little pocket inside of the purses and I always keep the most important things in there because once it falls into the bottom it's like a black hole and it's impossible to find anything so I always keep my phone in the little holder and I also have some business cards in there and these ones I designed myself pretty cool so yeah when I was first starting out with YouTube I had a bunch of business cards made and I would just go out around everywhere and just leave them all over the place like in the mall I would just put a bunch on like tables or counters anywhere and I don't know if they actually lasted very long there because I'm sure some people just threw them away but I swear that really is a good way to help spread your name and to help get your name out there for other people to find you and then in the zipper pocket I have Tylenol extra strength on me at all times because if you get a headache or anything, it's important to have something with you. And another thing I also have in there is my cuticle oil. And if you guys saw my nail tutorial, I explained to you how I have very dry cuticles. So I love keeping this with me because if I'm driving or if I'm out and they start to hurt or if they get a little dry, I always will really quickly just open it up and put them on my cuticles. A receipt. This one's from Sephora. I was at Menlo Park Mall, and if you guys are from Jersey, and went to Sephora, and that's when I got my, um, the lip tars that I was playing around with in my past video. So I got, when I was there, I got the HD Liquid Foundation by Makeup Forever. I got Smashbox BB Cream. That one was for my mom. And I got a new Laura Mercier concealer because mine ran out, and I also got the lip tars. $171. Every time I go in there, I swear, it's like, you can't go in there without leaving, without spending at least $100. But I like to keep all my receipts. I used to just throw them all out as soon as I would get them, but now, for many reasons, I keep all my receipts in a box. So I just, whenever I get them, I either throw them in my wallet or my purse, and then at the end of the week or something like that, I'll just pile them all up and I throw them in a box for future, if I need them for future use, which I actually returned a pair of sunglasses from, like, three months ago, and I thankfully had the receipt because without the receipt I wouldn't have been able to get my money back and I got all my money back so it's good to save your receipts. I also have my sunglasses. Receipt just went flying. Um, oh, okay. Everything's going flying. <laughs> These sunglasses are my favorite. These are the Gucci ones that I always have on in my pictures. These ones. And I know a lot of you are asking the 
serial number for them, and I did post them on my blog with a direct link, but for those of you who were wondering, they are Gucci, and it's GG3540-S, and I got these from Solstice, but honestly, look online, because they have some websites where you can get them for cheaper. I think Solstice actually marks up their prices, but yeah, so check out different websites online. I mean, you want to make sure that they are authentic and that they are real, but... I found these in a reddish color for about $100 cheaper, and I actually ordered them, so. My keys, my car keys, so when my old car that I had, I had a Nissan, and it was just a push start, so one thing I never had was keychains or keys or anything, it was just like a little fob, and it would always be at the bottom of my purse, and why I didn't care about it was because as soon as you would walk up to your car, there's like a little button on the door, and you would push it, and it would just unlock your car, and then it was a push start to drive, so I would never have to actually dig through my purse to try and find my keys, so now that I got my new Jeep, I had to put some big keychains on it, because otherwise it would just drive me crazy every time I would go and try and find my keys. I swear, every time I go anywhere, like if I'm trying to find my keys, I'll be searching for like an hour and have a mini panic attack saying, oh my god, I lost my keys, but I always end up finding them. I have this cute little keychain. It's like a rhinestone penguin. My two baby cousins got it for me for the holidays. And then I have also this little penguin on it because I love penguins. And it's also big, so if I'm digging through my purse, obviously I'll find these easy always have like 10 packs of gum and they're always empty. My favorite gum is Orbit, the sweet mint, as you can tell. This one's empty. I gotta throw this out. This one has one left. But one thing I always also notice is I find gum at the bottom of my purse all the time because these things don't stay shut. They just fall right out and then sometimes the wrappers come off and then you have like gum at the bottom of your purse with like hair stuck to it and it's disgusting. But I love Orbit gum. Addicted. I have my new wallet. It's funny because I got this from ASOS as well, and when I ordered it, I actually thought it was a clutch, so I thought it was going to be a lot bigger, but when it came, I actually needed a new wallet, so it worked out really well, and I absolutely love this wallet. It's so cute, and, um, what is this? Ah, oh, this is from yesterday when I got my nails done, the receipt. i to keep that. I'll show you my, my license picture. It's funny. Because I have my old license, the one that expired from before you turn 22, because they change, ugh, okay, because they go from, like, this way to this way, and I just want to show you how orange I look in this, my old license picture, let's see if I can show you guys, I swear, I think they, like, turned up the saturation on those photos, but if you could see, my old picture, nice and orange, that's 17 year old me, and then, my new one! It looks, it looks like a mugshot. I look so angry. I don't look happy to be taking the picture, but... Other than that, in my wallet I have some more business cards and not much junk, luckily, because, again, I just got it, so it's nice and organized for now. Another really, really long receipt from Walgreens, because there's one literally right up the road, and I'm there every single day. I swear the girl at the register, like, knows me by name now. I'm always in there, and she's like, oh! Picking out some new makeup today, and I'm like, yeah, you know, you know. So I spent $102, and I do have, like, the bonus rewards that saved me $5 just by using it, which is pretty cool. I mean, I wish I would have saved more, but anyway, another receipt. This one is from No Style, from my mall. It's one of my favorite stores, and they actually have an online website, which I go told you guys about. It's not as good as in the store, but pretty good. Ah, Wisps. Colgate Wisps. If you guys ever tried these yet, I never tried them until Brett bought them for me. I keep them in my car also. They're so perfect because if you have a little bit of bad breath or coffee breath or anything, all you do is you put them in your mouth and you like bite down and it's like a little gel. I don't know, it's like a little ball of toothpaste and you can like brush your teeth really quick. It gives you some minty breath, which is nice. And it also has a little pick at the end so you can... There's something stuck in your tooth, you can just grab it. So I always keep these with me because they have come in handy. Tums, always. These are like my lifesavers. When I was younger, I used to get a lot more stomach aches, so these were a necessity. But I just keep them on me just in case. My stomach's feeling a little sick. Bottle of water. I, I think this bottle of water is like two weeks old. It's kind of cold still. It's like room temperature, but I always have a bottle of water with me because I'm a fish, and if I'm not drinking water all day long, I start sweating, and I'm just looking at this, I'm starting to sweat because my body needs it. Yeah, I don't know, I swear, like, I drink a ridiculous amount of water, it's a problem. 
I also always bring a spray with me. This one is called Thallium, I think. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is what it looks like. This is like my favorite perfume that I've been using for about four months. I actually got this when I was down in Tennessee at one of the perfume stands. I wanted like a musky kind of smell and this is so different and I never heard of it before but when I smelt it it's like amazing. So I don't know where you could buy this. I got it again at like a, um, the fragrance stands that, that they have in the mall and this is what it looks like but this is one of my favorite perfumes ever. Hmm. I have a claim check ticket. This is from, I think this is from March, back in March, oh my god, so old, when I we went to Atlantic City for Brett's birthday. I surprised him with a suite, and this is definitely what that's from, and this definitely needs to go in the garbage. I also always have a little makeup case with me. I'm not sure where I got this one. I think it came as like one of those free gifts that you get with like a purchase or something. So I always bring with me like my necessities and I will tell you what those are. Like literally no matter what, like if I'm going out or if I'm just going to the mall or something, there's just like, I don't feel safe, I don't feel like comfortable if I don't have these with me. I just feel incomplete. So what I always bring is this brush from MAC because if I'm like getting a little sweaty or a little oily, I could just really quickly like go like this and I don't know, it might be in my head, but I feel like it just soaks up anything. So I always have this, and I always, always, always have my mascara because I have a sick problem that I pick all my mascara off. So throughout the day, I usually have to <laughs> reapply it. I have um, Neutrogena Shine Control Blotting Sheets, which are lifesavers in the spring and summertime because if you have oily skin, it just takes away the oil without removing your makeup. So if you've never seen these in action, I will show you because I'm a little oily. You just kind of plot it wherever you think your face is oily and it's good because it doesn't remove your makeup so like if you're I don't know a couple hours into the day and you're looking oily instead of like reapplying more makeup to make it more cakey you can just use these and it gets the oil off usually there's probably gonna be a lot more oil but I don't, I'm not too oily today I also have my Laura Mercier concealer which is always with me as well because this is my all-time favorite concealer. And I also always have bronzer, my L'Oreal True Match one, and then my MAC bronzer. The final two things that I always have are my lip liner, which is by Jordana Cosmetics, the Tawny one that I use in basically every single video, and a chapstick. These chapsticks were actually sent to me from a girl, it's called Kona Care. And they're really cool because there's all different flavored ones, so I always have some sort of chapstick with me. I have kind of a chapstick obsession. So that's usually what I bring with me in my makeup bag. I mean, if I have a more dramatic look or there's different specifics that I use that I would want to bring or touch up during the day, I would also include that in that bag. Oh, look! A PBA card from 2012, which is expired and never worked for me anyway. I swear, cops hate me. Every single time I've been pulled over, I've gotten a ticket. And usually it's because I'm speeding like five over the speed limit because Jersey cops are oh so friendly. And I'm always so nice and I'm, oh, hi officer, how are you? And they're always so nice back and then they come back with like eight tickets. So I don't know what it is if someone like looked like me in high school that made fun of them that they absolutely hate me, but yeah, PBA cards don't even work for me, so I might as well just rip this one up. Never mind. It won't rip! <laughs> Why won't this rip? Alright, I'm going to crumple this one up because you did no good for me. Score. Oh, a comb with a piece of hair. Yuck. I always have a comb with me. I don't know if you guys watched, I forget which video is it. Maybe my current favorites? Maybe? No. It was definitely way before that. But I, I bought this thing of combs with 20 different sizes of combs and it was like $2.99 and it's perfect because it gave me like 100 combs so I literally like put a comb in each of my purses so if I ever were to forget one there's one hanging around in there because if your hair is flat in the middle of the day or anything you could just do a little quick tease and refresh everything. And the final... Yeah, the rest is just gum at the bottom of my purse. So the final thing that's in my purse are, at all times, rubber bands and a clip. And the reason that this is just oh so important is because if you're out and you get hot or you've got sweaty and 
I don't know if there's any other purpose, but like for me, I know when I go out and if I get really hot and I don't have a hair tie or a clip, I literally like have panic attacks. And one thing about me that if you were friends with me, you would know this, is if I'm out somewhere and there's like a lot of people or I'm just, I don't know, I'm not even going to say a lot of people. If I'm out anywhere and I don't have a lot of water or if it's like really crowded, I get like really, really, really hot and I get like heat attacks as if I'm like going through um, menopause so these always come in handy because I'll just throw my hair up or clip it up I always keep the hair tie clipped onto the clip so that way I don't have to dig through my bag if I am looking for it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video something a little bit different I know everyone has been requesting a fitness video and I promise you I'm not ignoring you I have so many things in the works for you guys that I've been like planning and brainstorming about so that will be coming I promise but let me know what else you guys want to see because I mean I know a lot of people wanted to see more dramatic looks but then when I post dramatic looks you're like oh too much makeup I don't like it so what do you guys want to see what do you want to see more makeup more hair or do you want to see more tags let me know and comment below so yeah if you guys want to do this tag as well and you haven't done it yet I tag all of you and you can leave video responses below and let me know what you guys thought of what I had in my bag so I hope you guys enjoyed and I love you all so so much and stay tuned for a new video maybe this week <gasps> maybe <laughs> bye guys <laughs>